and you're going toward the spring season. And so they used to uh, have large gatherings of young people, and they would take the name of women. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Um, so today I'm going to be reacting to Islamic Valentine's Day, Mufti Menk and others. I'm excited to see what this is about and I mean without wasting time, let's go straight into the video. Someone was asking me recently about Valentine's Day, okay? So what happened? I said I, as a best Muslim, every day for me is a day of love. I'm in love. With who? With my spouse, with my family members. Every day I tell them so many times I love you. I message them. You know on WhatsApp you have a heart. You make use of it. Please, to the right people. That heart blows up and suddenly starts pumping. Have you seen it? On WhatsApp they're helping you. It's something romantic. Send it to the right people. And not only one day in the year. Every day. That's your spouse. That's your family. Tell them how beautiful they are. Not like the woman who asks her husband, what are you going to give me for Valentine's? She, he says, what do you want for Valentine's? So, she says, I just want one ring. I just want one ring. So he says, on the landline or mobile? May Allah forgive us. May Allah forgive us. If this is the attitude we have, that you only want to express love on one day, you can't be a best Muslim. Allahu Akbar. Sometimes, you know, you, you find a spouse would perhaps buy a gift for someone, give someone, and you say, but what about me? Where's mine? I don't want. You know, Valentine's Day for us is every day of the year. Valentine's Day. Every day of the year. Meaning, we don't mean St. Valentine and so on, but expressing love should not just be on a certain day. But I know of Muslims whose marriages have broken because the husband did not bring a rose or a flower or a gift for the wife on the day of Valentine's. Muslims, marriage broken. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day? You, I want out. I want out. All my friends got flowers. I didn't get anything. I want out. Finish. Bad. How am I going to show face to my friends? My sister, you don't need to show face. A marriage that works is not a marriage that is displayed on Facebook. A lot of those are actually not working. That's why they have to show it on Facebook. If yours is working, you're busy working it. You're not busy on the net. Allahu Akbar. So people want to put, oh, me, my husband and I, and you're hugging and you're kissing and the pictures up. Wallahi, the evil eye is the truth. It happens, it comes. You want to show everyone how delighted you are. Tomorrow, broken. What happened? Woo. Everyone was saying, What a couple, they're getting along so well. Ooh, Allahu Akbar. People forget Allah's name. And so next thing you're busy fighting and you don't know. Why do you have to show? Why do you have to say, oh, my love, beloved husband and speak to the globe? Tell your husband that. Subhanallah. Tell your wife that. So this is why we say, I know of another marriage that broke because the wife suspected the man of giving her flowers that were supposedly from someone else. How's that? Allahu Akbar. So here comes the day of Valentine's and, and the flowers came. I told you the flowers are supposed to come anytime, not only when you go to the graveyard. Sorry, I need to explain myself. You know, at the graveyard, you get these roses on people's graves. Sometimes the people put, you know, we in Islam, we're not supposed to be doing that. You'd rather make a dua for the deceased than to do that. But some people, when they go to the graveyard and they're standing there, they see a rose. Hey, that's good for my wife. Take it. So the only time they get roses, you know, one woman says, every time my husband gives me a rose, I've got to ask him, did you pass by the graveyard? <laughs> so the reality here is there was a case and this happens and I'm talking about it because it's connected to the knot. There was a case where a man says he came with the flowers. The flowers are presented. Now there's another problem. What's it? Where did you get these from? Who sent them to you? How did you bring them here? If I don't bring them, there's a problem. If I bring them, there's a problem. Allahu Akbar. What do I do? May Allah help us really learn to appreciate. Like I said, you don't need to probe every detail. 
if you are kind and good towards your spouse and you give them time and you look at them often trust me the love will increase if you are kind and good to your spouse and you you have good words to say you have time for them you look at them often you talk to them often with good words trust me the love will increase they won't need to go onto the phone in order to find love they have it at home there's no deficit nothing at all may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us really by all means may allah make dua ask allah's help and work towards it and so we are going into february now and coming out of january coming out of the new years now going into february into february now there was a there was a celebration done by the romans called the lupercalia and the lupercalia was based upon their gods of pan and juno and um, they also february is actually named after one of their gods as well and so this is a time where you're coming out of the winter and you're going toward the spring season and so they used to uh, have large gatherings of young people and they would take the name of women put them in a large container and the men would choose them and literally have a sexual relationship so it was based upon this you know cupid concept the greek word is uh, eros this is modern day valentines yeah so i want to tell you where, 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 where it comes in now yeah the Greek word is eros, erotica. Mm -hmm. Okay, so erotica is, is basically sexuality. And so that, that was the main issue on this occasion. And this is where you get cupids from and hearts and things like that. Because this is actually the ceremony uh, of, you know, uh, open sexuality. What happened was they combined this with an individual named Valentine, who in the Roman times, in the, in the third century of the Roman era, he was protecting young people. The Romans said no marriage because we want men to fight strong in, in battle, so we're not going to let you get married. Valentine, you know, a religious priest, he disagreed with this. They put him in jail. He went against the state. Eventually, they executed him. And on the day of his execution, he wrote a letter to two of the young people getting married, and he said, from your Valentines. So that's where Valentine, he's St. Valentine's. So, so, so they took the concept of the open sexuality, put the name of, of a Christian priest on it, so it seems like a holy day, but actually it's the open sexuality of the Lupercalia. And that is the dangerous thing uh, for Muslims and people of conscience to get involved in this, because what happens is pornography, erotica, this overcomes everything else. So it seems like it's innocent. It's like they say, a wolf in sheep's clothing. It seems like it's innocent because Valentine was protecting young people. But the reality is, it is an occasion where more people commit fornication and adultery, where rape happens, unwanted pregnancy. It is actually a dangerous time. And so therefore, we're saying to Muslims, don't play around with the devil. Don't play around with evil things and think that it is uh, sport and play. Because what is happening is that young people are being... Uh, fooled into focusing their life on their sexuality as opposed to folks focusing their life on their education on their physical fitness uh, and then grow into their sexuality this is how societies develop themselves over the centuries and of course the last revelation you know uh, of the Quran uh, uh, brought us the beautiful example of the husband and the wife and the family and how people can protect themselves and how sexuality can actually be a, a beautiful thing. It can be a halal, permissible thing, and not something wild and, and, and uncontrolled. Tell us now for the person who's just tuning in, you know, they got their friend and they said, look, man, this, this uh, Valentine's Day, there's more to it. But you know what? It's in our public schools. It's all over the place. Look, Johnny just wants to tell Susie that she's cute. You know what I mean? Innocent, no. Kids are passing around. What's the big deal? Well, of course... Um, Again, this is the wolf in sheep's clothing. Wolf in sheep's clothing. Meaning that it appears to be innocent on the outside. Yeah. And, you know, if a person is, if a boy is passing a comment to a girl or vice versa, there's nothing wrong with that in, in the essence. The problem is, is that the, the socialization, that the society itself teaches people 
how to take it a step further. And so when they watch the television programs or movies, then they will see how it goes a step further. Even cartoons, the two ducks, you know, and the cartoons even are falling in love. Even ducks. Donald yeah. Duck. I mean, everybody's <laughs> falling in love now. Yeah. And so that's erotica. And so the dangerous thing is it opens up the door, you know, to a bottomless pit. You know, it's a dangerous area because sexuality is a natural thing. And when we look at, at the Quran, it tells us, وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الزِّنَا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاهِشَةً وَسَاءَ سَبِيلًا The Quran, the Last Testament says, do not come close to fornication and adultery. Now what Islam is saying about sexuality uh, is very important because the creator of the heavens and the earth uh, is revealing to people there are certain actions that you shouldn't do. You shouldn't kill, you shouldn't steal, you shouldn't be jealous of your neighbor. Um, you shouldn't you know, be involved in magic and uh, taking of interest and so forth and so on. But when it comes to adultery and fornication, Allah says, وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الزِّنَا إِنَّهُ كَانَ فَاهِشَةً وَسَاءَ سَبِيلًا in Surah to Isra. So it says, don't come near fornication. Don't come near adultery. Because it is an abomination and it will destroy everything in the past. So this is a dangerous um, thing. It, it doesn't say, don't commit adultery. It said, don't come near it. Now, why is there a difference between uh, killing and adultery? Because killing is not a natural thing. And any human being who sees another person killed, it should be repulsed by that. It's an ugly, detestable thing. But sexuality, that's what our bodies are created for. And so a man is naturally attracted to a woman. A woman is attracted to a man. So that's why Allah said, don't come near it. Because it's, a, it's something that we want to do. We are built to do that in order for the species you know, to, to maintain itself. So therefore, what Islam is saying is that yes, have sexuality, but do it within the confines of marriage. Do it in an organized fashion where the man respects the woman, where the, you know, the family is set up, you know, where he takes care of his children. That's the way it is. The Lupercalia, the Valentine's erotica concept, is uncontrolled undisciplined sexuality. And it starts with that little note sent to Jane or sent to Zainab. That's how it starts off, just the innocent. That's how it innocent, starts. But then the pink hijab. Yeah. You know, I don't know if they have pink kufis or, you know, <laughs> the pink thobe. So we don't do or whatever it is. No, we don't get involved at all. Always interesting to watch things like this. So, um, I like how they both I guess there were two speakers in this, Mufti Menk and the other one. Both of them spoke about Valentine's in different in a, in different manners. I like what Mufti Menk said in the beginning: Valentine's should be every day. Why should I wait? I don't know how many days for me to tell my partner I love him only on Valentine's Day or tell whoever my valentine is maybe my sister that i love her on valentine's day doesn't make sense remind your loved ones you love them each and every day and you don't only valentine's doesn't have to be about material things if you celebrate it let it be i guess about you it, it, let it be about maybe you guys reminding each other why you love each other or something. I don't know, that's just my opinion. But ending a relationship because someone didn't get you that gift that you want, that's just absurd. <sighs> and the second speaker talks about how Valentine's is misinterpreted. I think I've heard the story of St. Valentine's and... And I think I had it in my 12th grade, if I'm not mistaken. One of our teachers told us the, the meaning behind. So yeah, but I like how he gave the history of, of the entire Valentine itself. Because it's like people don't know, they just do whatever they want. I understand what he's saying, that it's undisciplined, it's this, this, that. Because when we watch movies, we're being shown that Valentine, that it's like when you watch a movie it's like you have to have a valentine you have to fall in love with someone you just 
have to do whatever people do on Valentine according to movies. But in reality, I mean, it all comes to you. Look into whatever is going, look into things. Choose the path that you want to take in life and live by that. Don't just, just because a movie is showing this, you go there. Just because TV is showing this, you follow that. Just because this is showing that. Or just because my friend is doing this, let me do that. Oh, my friend got that. What's my boyfriend going to get me? No, it shouldn't be like that. Just stay in your elements, stay true to yourself and just don't get things twisted. Let me know how you feel about this Valentine video and make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.